fabulous welcome back to vlogtober i'm just trying to decide i'm in the midst of a decision so basically i want to write some blog posts today and i thought oh i'll do that at the british library maybe although it is a bit of an effort to get out of the house i'm pretty lazy but <laughs> i was thinking maybe i go to the british library i don't want to work from bed again today i don't really want to write in the room downstairs either so i'm kind of like hmm where can I work? So I thought I would, maybe I would go to the British Library and very excitingly I have the Penguin Spring 2023 showcase this evening. I've never been to one of these events before so I don't really know what to expect but I was just thinking to myself if I go to the British Library will I go straight from there? I don't really want to carry loads of stuff around all day though. I don't really want to take loads of stuff to this showcase so I'm kind of thinking, <laughs> thinking some more. So I'm going to get ready. I'm also going to wear these glasses today. You may have noticed me wearing them in the last couple of days. Um, they are at least one prescription ago. I was just saying this to Zach yesterday because when I would have put these on maybe like a year ago or six months ago, my eyes would have gone a bit funny because they're a slightly lesser prescription than what I currently wear. But I put them on the last few days and I haven't found anything at all and also everything is perfect, I can see everything perfectly. And I was just saying to Zach yesterday, um, at some point I do wonder if my eyes are going to go more the long sighted route. Of course you can kind of be both and have bifocals, I don't entirely know how, <laughs> what the shape of your lens must be if you're both short and long sighted. Or whether it's something else that's affected but I was I do I do know that for some people at least the like severity of their short-sightedness goes backwards a little bit when they become more long-sighted um, in their older age and so I'm wondering to myself whether that process has already begun happening to me these glasses definitely feel nice and I feel like they're gonna go with my vibe today I'm gonna be writing blog posts going to penguin showcase by the way penguin as in the publisher um, they're going to be showing the new books for spring 2023 so I'm going to wear them today however I am still so short-sighted that putting my makeup on is hard so short-sighted if you don't know is when you can't see far away but I am so short-sighted that far away for me is about like here so putting my makeup on can be a bit of a challenge that's why I often don't wear my glasses with my makeup because I'm super short-sighted but we're gonna give it a go gonna give it a go because I think it's gonna go with my vibe today like I said. So my loves I decided I think I'm gonna go to the British Library and go straight to the showcase from there so it's gonna be a long day out today. Um, I'll show you my outfit quickly. I have got on, I should probably take this coat off to show you the underneath as well, but I've got on this COS shirt which I bought earlier this year. Um, I've got a t-shirt on under that. I've got my Levi's barrel jeans which I'm wearing a little bit low waisted which I actually think is how they're supposed to be worn so they look a really nice shape I'll take the coat off in a second show you properly and I've got on some new DMs I've got on these like platformed quads which are part of my free people job and I'm in love with them I don't know why I have not got a pair before now I'm loving them and I got my little red socks on I wouldn't typically have put this blue shirt with this jacket but I think I'm getting away with it um, and I like it together but let me show you without the coat so this is me without the coat just a nice relaxed outfit today I think the coat smartens it up for my uh, for the evening um, but I don't think I have to be like smartly dressed I hope I don't that is me I am going to head out now get coffee and food on the way I need to pack up my bag which I can't be bothered to do <laughs>
I'm just filming on my phone because it's a bit more convenient. But I'm just leaving the British Library now because I was getting hungry and I thought I could just do some reading in the cafe because I've done the main thing that I wanted to get done today. I've written my blog post so I'm just going to do some reading and chill before I go to this showcase. I'm um, really enjoying the road so far and yeah, I'm hungry so let's do that. Um, there's something else to say but I can't remember it. Oh yeah, I was supposed to bring a tote bag for this experience because I think we're going to get given some books later on but I forgot a tote bag. But again, I don't really want to buy a new tote bag because I've got new. home now managed to make it back in time to put the baby to sleep which I was pleased about got to give her a little kiss and a little cuddle well actually it took quite a while to get her down I think because I appeared suddenly at the end of the day so she wanted a little bit of extra time with me before she <laughs> drifted off so I wasn't sure what to expect from the showcase event and it was wrapped up pretty quickly and um, they just talked us through but some of the um, imprints under the Penguin General imprint or the Penguin General office. I'm not entirely sure how it all works. Talked us through some of their Spring 2023 books. They didn't have all of them there. Um, for example, um, Han Kang, the author of The Vegetarian, is bringing out a new book, which I'm very excited about. And there was other, there were other new books that weren't there, but that also sounded really good. They talked us through, um, I think, five books, and I picked up proofs for of three of them. Um, this is called Close to Home by Michael McGee. I think he is a Northern Irish author. It's I'm just going to read some of the blurb. The blurb is very long. It's about a boy or a young man called Sean, who's the first in his family to get a university degree, and he wasn't supposed to come back to Belfast, but he does and he ends up assaulting a stranger at a party and everything is tipped into chaos. Close to home witnesses the aftermath of that night as Sean attempts to make sense of who he has become and to reckon with the relationships that have shaped him for better or worse. This is what it looks like and it is coming out in April, so quite some time to wait, but I'm very intrigued by that one. Also got In Memoriam, which is about which is a love story um, between two soldiers in World War Two, I believe. No, well, World War One. Again, another gorgeous cover. So interested to read that one too. And then finally, um, I think the one I'm most excited about is this one. It's called One Small Voice. Max Porter says it is a joy to read a full universe of feeling, an effortless page turner by a born storyteller. It is about... India in 1992 and 10 year old Shabby who witnesses a terrible act of mob violence in which his family are complicit, an act that will alter the course of his life. And this one's coming out in February 23rd. In Memoriam is coming out in March. So those are the books that really called to me. But yeah, I didn't stay too long. Wanted to come back for the baby and I actually got some interesting books delivered today too, let me get them. In the book post today, not that we're in focus, probably won't ever be, I got this called Celestial by M.D. Lachlan, Lachlan? Oh, I should know, shouldn't I? I lived in Scotland for four years. Publishing on the 3rd of November 2022. Oh, it's publishing in trade. Paperback, does that mean it's been out for a while? And... Or they're just not publishing in hardback. I don't know. I feel like could be great. Ziggy DeLuca is a linguist recruited by NASA for reasons she can't quite fathom. Ringing story of your life bells, which is a gorgeous story by Ted Chiang. 
After seeing the video they've intercepted, it becomes clear her work is far more central to their plans than she realised. Sent to the moon to investigate a hatch discovered by the Russians, Ziggy faces challenges she's never trained for. Yes, a standalone novel, perfect for fans of Arrival. Arrival is based on story of your name, story of your name, story of your life, um, and First Man, which I haven't read or watched. I don't know which it is. Uh, which were both later made into films. Okay, First Man, don't know. Combines cerebral science fiction with an engrossing examination of 70s US Russian relations. Don't know if my blog post is out yet, but as we all know, I loved For All Mankind, which begins in the 70s with the space race and all that kind of stuff so I do have a newfound interest in that particular part of history and I feel like this could be a real hit um so we'll see how I get on with that one I also got this through it's called the book of Mars and I was confused <laughs> for a moment it is an anthology of fact and fiction so it's a collection of works, both fact and fiction, um, about Mars, which again, I think could be very interesting. In the book of Mars, Dr. Stuart Clarke selects 80 pieces of writing about the planet. It is a collection that brings together fact and fiction, dreams and fears, centuries of observation and more recent feats of interstellar exploration. Now I can't say I'm gonna read all of this, tomorrow but might be nice to have a little dip into and it is a nice book I like the cover art and stuff so yes that was my book post for the day I've been getting a lot of clearly with the release of Rings of Power they're releasing a lot of Tolkien stuff re-releasing it in nice editions so I've got this The Fall of Numenor and I've also got the Silmarillion um don't know if I'm pronouncing that right almost definitely I'm not because, yes, all of the Rings fans don't come for me. Oh God, why won't it focus on me? Anyway, my loves, yes, how was my day? What did I do? So as I explained, I did my blog post, then I did lots of reading. I'm actually like, I think two thirds of the way through the road now. So I've made really good progress with that and hopefully I can finish that maybe tomorrow. Um, which is really really good because then I can start on House of Leaves well before the end of the month which would be very positive because otherwise it would be very unlikely that I would finish it before the end of the month. Yes that's all going to plan. I need to update my story graph I think. What else to say about today? I'm exhausted. I'm not often out the house for long periods of time <laughs> as you may have been able to tell from Vlogtober so I am pretty tired now. I had a very nice lunch, very late lunch in Granger & Co, which was quite delicious. And, but I didn't feel like I could stay there. I should have gone to like a normal, normal cafe where I could have sat for a few more hours, but I didn't feel like I could stay there. So I ended up going back to the British Library for an hour or so, um, and then headed over to the showcase. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I didn't come home in between. And I'm also really glad that I did go to the British Library today because I feel like I did get quite a lot done so I s finished one blog post as I said I can't remember if I said this earlier and then I started this it's kind of like a personal essay I guess it's going to be a blog post but it's a bit more personal essay like <laughs> um, but it needs it's one of those pieces that I think I want to work on for an extended period of time so I kind of started it today and I also didn't go very prepared to actually work on it, like I need to take some texts and stuff with me next time. And I couldn't be bothered to do that today because I knew I would be hauling books around for a long time. I wasn't just going there and back. So um, hopefully next time I go, I'll take some bits and do some more work on that. But, and who knows if I'll ever even put it up. I don't know what it's gonna end up like. I have been to the British Library a couple times in recent months so it didn't have the same effect on me as it did the first time I walked in a few months ago the first time in a while because I, I had like half of a vlog which I never put up of me going to the British Library and um, yes it was a very strange experience the first couple of times I went because it really felt like I was stepping back in time to my masters but I feel like I'm getting my 
beginning to get my new associations with it now slash it just feels very normal to be back there um so yes and it is a fantastic place to work obviously I didn't end up going to um get lunch today which when I used to go all the time I used to just get get it from M&S <laughs> and then I'd go and sit outside although that was it was mostly over the summer when I was writing my dissertation is a good place to go and work and you don't have to order endless coffees or whatever you don't have to get yourself a remote office like it's free to get a reader pass and it's quiet and lovely and a great place to work and you have access to every book ever published in the UK which is quite fantastic oh that's such a good point I should have just got the book I needed out the library well that's where my brain's at Whew. anyway my loves do i have any more to tell you about today i don't think so let me tell you as well compared to when i was doing my masters it is very nice around there obviously they did cold drops yard a few years ago which is very cool and then even just around the station and stuff, there's so many restaurants and bars and coffee shops and all sorts of things. I like being around people that are doing like intense academic work as well. It just makes me feel at home. <laughs> I'm not gonna take you through my whole getting ready for bed process. I'm gonna shower, get ready for bed, hop into bed and go to sleep because I'm tired. I also don't really know how long the baby will sleep for because um, we're still coming out of this cold. Uh, so I best get, get on. But I'll sign off now. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll go to Sheffield Park tomorrow because we actually have tickets. Um, and then we're hopefully going to shoot a little bit at home too. But I don't know. We'll see how we get on. But that will be really nice. So yes, thank you for watching today. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>